All right, man, welcome back to yet again another video on the channel. Today we are checking out some more TikTokers. Yeah, woohoo, one original idea. Who would have thought? Uh, never done one of these before. <laughs> Who would do that? Not me. I I've never checked out TikTokers before. Now, jokes aside, guys, today we are back at it again, checking out some more dumb TikTokers. And, you know, on the channel, for those of you guys that have watched my channel, you would know that uh, I have a very extensive history of making fun of TikTokers, bro. I am very tiktoker phobic you're right it's not a word but it's a word now bro we are all tiktoker phobic and proud and we've kind of seen it all when it comes to tiktok like i have dunked on so many stupid people I, I feel like i've actually gotten like secondhand stupidity up in my brain now like i've checked out what is it tiktokers uh overdosing on medication for cloud i have checked out tiktokers that think slamming their skulls into the ground and fracturing them is some sort of cool quirky trend that is totally normal and okay to do uh do i need to keep going setting themselves on fire uh whatever this is and uh well you know the typical spoiled people but one trend i have never really picked up on is uh tiktokers going out and harassing people in public apparently it's a big trend on tiktok where like you know attractive females with you know certain physical features that men would like to indulge and they go out in public if, for example like they go on like a train or a subway whatever you want to call it and they'll like jump on random men without their consent thus making them very understandably uncomfortable and they'll just film this all and post it to tiktok have zero shame whatsoever and zero self-awareness for what the f*** they're doing and uh, today's video is a prime example of that today we are checking out this bitch right here who uh, apparently is like 16 15 whatever right she's underage and today she's on a mission she's on the mission to become the female chris hansen off the late night show trying to identify some creeps in public and she essentially ends up going up to an old man and asking him some very weird and explicit questions and basically like just harassing this dude like no matter how much he says no or how uncomfortable he very evidently gets she just keeps going and she just keeps bothering this man and it's basically harassment like there's no other way i can really word it bro i'm just gonna tell you how it is you're harassing this old guy for tiktok clout now this video kind of upset me a lot and for such a clip i have quite a bit to say so uh, i thought you know what i'm hopping on a video and i'm blaming this woman for acting like a total degenerate out in public and uh you know putting these tiktokers back in their place once again so uh before i get into that today if you guys end up rocking the video yeah go down below you know hit that big red bone also enable all notifications so you get notified every single time i upload another brand new video I upload videos like this one every single day to keep you guys entertained and hey man maybe you don't want to miss another episode of tiktok cringe so why not subscribe remember it's free and you can change your mind later but anyways without any further ado uh let's play the clip what do you rate me one through ten ten really would you smash i don't know what that means <laughs> would you take me on a date no i'm too old <laughs> no you're not too old <laughs> She's more your age. <laughs> you passed the test. Okay, Woo! Okay, so the first thing I already gotta ask is what is with the title of this video? How to catch a creep? So you're essentially calling this man a creep right right off the jump and by watching the video I don't see how this dude was a creep in any which way like okay Here's the thing if you end up, you know walking up to somebody on the street and They're fully aware of how old you are They know you're underage and they admit to wanting to indulge your chocolate cereal and just tear that thing apart Then yeah, I can understand you wanting to expose that person and call it how to catch a creep because well if they're an adult going after a minor then yeah they're obviously a creep but this is just some innocent old man sitting on a bench and you're calling him a creep despite the fact he did literally nothing wrong like you ask him hey what do you rate me out of 10 which you're already putting him in a very awkward situation like let's be real here man if somebody you don't know walks up to and asks hey uh, what would you rate me out of 10 if you don't know him you would just say oh 10 of 10 or you give him a good rating because you're not trying to hurt their feelings you're not trying to be a dick because they put you in such an awkward situation especially when you have somebody you're recording you because you don't know this person you're not trying to be mean you're not trying to hurt their feelings and you don't want to look like a jackass on the video so you're obviously gonna say yeah uh, you're looking pretty good now already that can be taken way out of context like uh, if you're an old man you just called a 16 year old a 10 of 10 if that's out of context and she didn't like harass you to give you that answer you kind of look like a creep i will not lie especially because she called the video how to catch a creep it's just disgusting because what if somebody didn't watch the full tiktok what if somebody just saw how to catch a creep and they saw this guy sitting there 
there not knowing that he was actually not a bad person they're gonna leave that video thinking oh that guy that face in my head yeah he's a creep like wh what the fuck and also who just goes out in public and asks people that kind of question like it's just so bizarre like you go in public asking people oh will and Ailey, hey w would you like to smash me would you like to just tear open my hershey hole and just go in and out of that just go ham like who asks that question and then when the dude says no like you would think okay you, you walk away there like not only are you harassing an old dude the dude give you answer no she, she just keeps pushing it she's like would you go on a date with me would you do this would you do that like bro what you know full well what you're doing like even if this dude eventually said yes you put yourself in that situation you are trying to make yourself a victim of a crime like if you want to go out there and catch creeps and be a big hero that's fine believe that also chris hansen because this right here isn't how you go about doing that like these people on chris hansen show they got you know files on top of files they got everything they actually know the background of this person they know everything they're intending to do they have actual like concrete evidence to call this guy a creep you sit here you talk to this guy for 15 seconds he passed your stupid test by the way like he said everything correct but you just keep harassing him and then when he passes your test instead of just telling the video be like oh let's go actually find a creep to expose you know an actual one you instead post this video of an innocent guy and call him a creep like just what what are you doing like leave him alone he's an old guy how disrespectful can you be have you ever heard the saying respect your elders because well clearly your parents didn't drill that into your brain as a kid clearly your parents didn't do that good of a job raising you because if they did you would not be out here on tiktok doing these sort of things and not seeing a problem with it whatsoever like how stupid can you be i'm only six minutes and i still got more to say what kind of test is this like you just go up to random people and you give them this test remember they didn't sign up for this test they didn't you know voluntarily participate you just slammed it on the table and are like okay you're doing this test and i'm gonna keep pressing you to do it or else i'm gonna go on tiktok and call you uh, quite possibly the worst thing you can be as a human being yep that's totally fair like these tiktokers have some weird god complex they feel like the entire world revolves around them i feel like everybody is like peasants and they're like these almighty gods that rule everybody like nobody is entitled to take your stupid test you have no right to be going out here harassing somebody to do that and i don't know about you guys but if this happened to me i would not be too pleased like if i was a guy out here going up to elderly females and uh, i was saying would you smash it and do all this stuff it would not go off that easy but because she's an attractive female oh she gets let off the hook same thing with the that you know was jumping on people on the train if i was if you know me i'm a guy right if i was going around jumping on random teenage girls on the train unconsensually i would get beaten up right there would be screaming and i would have i'd be going home with a black eye rightfully so because I, I was sexually assaulting people but these people can't do it no issue whatsoever like it's so weird like uh, how about this right if you were sitting there on the park bench like you know you're going on a walk you're saying they're resting if i came up to you right and i was saying hey well dream you're off you're probably gonna give me a good rating because you know i'm a random person you're not trying to hurt my feelings and then i'm like oh would you smash me do you want to go on a date with me uh do you want me to do this and that to you do you want to get free you would probably be very uncomfortable and very weirded out because you have legitimately zero idea with who i am especially if i had one of my yes men sitting there with a camera recording you ready to call you a pee, pee on tiktok so if you wouldn't like the happening to you why would you subject other people to that like it's a simple matter of putting yourself in someone else's shoes like it's not that difficult bro just have some sort of an open mind and not only that, bro, clout is not this important. There are many other ways to obtain clout that isn't doing this. But nowadays, people will do the absolute extreme, the absolute maximum just to obtain it. And I really don't understand it. Like, listen, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I'm, you know, Dream or PewDiePie and I have all this eat clout or I'm um, Kanye West because let's be real, man, I don't, right? I got 100k subscribers and I'm staring at my plug right now. But, bro, it, this whole internet thing, it's not as important and it's not as, you know, big and exciting as you really think it is. Like, everybody looks, you know, when they're not achieving stuff like you know millions of subscribers and millions of views they think okay that is what i want to achieve in life i want to have hundreds of millions of followers i want to be a hollywood celebrity they don't realize what really goes behind it like imagine being kanye west or drake they're probably under so much pressure 24 7 because you know paparazzis and just all this stuff like having that much clout would be painful i never want to get to that point even having the small amount of clout i do now isn't worth doing all this for like even if clout was the best thing on the planet and everybody was dreaming of having some clout doing this to get it is just extremely pathetic like it's the lowest of the low and not only that man this doesn't really work that well anymore like you are a bit too late to the whole trend like here's the thing bro if you did it back in 2016 2017 era youtube social media you would have been viral you would have been a hollywood celebrity you would have been the female joey sellers up in this ma doing social experiments all willy-nilly but bro we are in the year 2021 the whole social experiment and public prank trend isn't that popular
popular anymore. From what I've seen, it's kind of died off. Just do what Charlie D'Amelio is doing or somebody and just dance in your room for like uh, 10 minutes a day and get millions of views that way. Like at least that way, it's somewhat respectable. You know, you're making your bag by not dis disturbing other people and you're just actually a decent functioning member in society, not going around harassing old people. And, and not only that, but my final thing I gotta say is you do realize you're not only putting this guy at risk of just being weirded out, but you're also putting like potential jobs and whatnot at risk because let's say you go up to somebody right and you falsely accuse them of being a weirdo you bait them into saying something they don't mean and then if that clip goes viral online they could lose their job or any future jobs they apply to could probably find that clip and you know they're not getting the job because no one wants a potential creep working at their business like you may think it's just an innocent tiktok prank or challenge to go around and harass people and it's all cool and quirky but bro i'm sorry but this internet thing is not just about you like have a concept of other people that's my concluding thing about this whole situation but anyways men uh that is enough common sense for these tiktokers i, I feel like i'm riding their stupid non-existent brains by spitting all these facts i'm gonna wrap it up here if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more like it uh click one of the thing is popping up on screen i see more uh i gotta end off the video it's 5 a.m i gotta go shower and attend school so i think after watching the video it means a lot click one of the videos to see more and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one don't harass old people for a club it should have gone without saying but um welcome to 2021